Okay, what the fuck is happening here? Man, why? Everything's like that already. Okay. <clears throat> Greetings. I. Okay. Greetings. I'm here to do something about this here situation I've got going on. Um, I did have this stupid idea to try to cancel out the blue with orange or like it's kind of green so anyway, I know it's a stupid idea so I'm not going to do it especially because I have to be somewhere tomorrow so I don't have time to experiment. Um, I do still have a vision of gray because for some reason I want gray hair right now but instead I'm going to do blue because obviously the logical thing is to do blue because I'm never going to be able to get it out. So this is super, super diluted Enchanted Forest. I swear this one is way less green than... I've got a cat hair in my mouth. I swear that this batch was less green than any other Enchanted Forest that I've ever used because it just looks straight up blue. And I'm celebrating with new gloves, which I have already stained with Enchanted Forest. Okay. <coughs> so the plan is to try to do darker roots and then dilute it more for the ends and we will see how that works out for me it's always good to have a plan right okay so pre-sectioned as you can see i'm glad that i successfully got that horrible banding out because that was not a good scene and just all right before i get too far i want to put a little bit of I normally don't put Vaseline along my hairline, but there's definitely some skin breakdown from the bleach. So let's be wise and not like stain scabs with blue dye. Wisdom. See, I don't really know how well I can get back here. I've got it on my fingers, so I might as well use it, right? My skin gets so bad right there. See, I don't really want to get hair and have like weird lawn bits. Did I seriously completely miss this spot? I went over this spot like three times. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, here goes. Can I add that's not a bald spot back there? That's just how my hair grows. Uh, this is like, I don't even know, 15 parts conditioner to one part enchanted forest. Wild. Okay. Now oh, I can't see again. So hold it hard to hold your hair up when it's this short. P.S. Feel free to put some music on because I feel like I kind of talked myself out in the last one. Did I 
Oh, here he is. I'm gonna drop everything. No, no, wait, wait, why are you leaving me? Come here. Come here. Stop running away. Stop running. He ran away again. <laughs> you can't come into the bathroom if you don't want to be to pick you up and cuddle you. It's just not even fair. I'm talking about my cat. <laughs> Okay, where was I here? So if this is ruined, it's Phil's fault for making me drop everything. Clearly, that's how this works. I'm not worried about being super careful in the back. After I say that I'm not talking in this video, I'm going to keep talking. So the other day I had to, well, begin at the beginning. I was having water pressure issues. Um, I first noticed it when I got back from Kazakhstan. Like I still had some water pressure, so it wasn't like an emergency. But, you know, after like three weeks, I mentioned it to my landlady and Somehow it ended up with men from the city coming to my house to um, flush the, or like auger of the sewer drain, um, which the access port for, well, the access port for which is in the living room underneath the carpet. So I didn't know where it was, which meant I had to move everything in my living room. And yeah, that meant couch, which is easy enough, computer, which is not fun to move because cords, um, and like side table and bookshelf, which of course I didn't bother like taking the shelves or the stuff on the shelves off and I completely destroyed it. So, you know, doing things the half-assed way always works, obviously. So then I decided since, okay, what, right, keep on with the story in order. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it turned out that they only needed like, I don't know, to pull the carpet out like three feet in one corner. So yeah, I moved all that stuff for like nothing. But yeah, that got done. All right, also in the meantime, just randomly, my water pressure just kind of slowly came back to normal. So. Who knows? Who knows? Um, what the problem was. But yeah, men from the city come. And of course, being men, they have to think that I'm an idiot. And they're like, well, you know, sometimes water pressure is lower during peak hours of use. I'm like, yeah, I get it. Or like, is this only happening when the people upstairs are using water? I'm like, I get it. <laughs> like, I know that that's how water pressure works. Like if the people upstairs are running their dishwasher, I'm going to have lower water pressure down here. If, like they're showering. I'm going to like, I know that I'm not stupid. <laughs> so I'm like, no, it happens at like three in the morning when nobody else is around and nobody else is awake and nobody else is using water. Like I'm awake at those weird times. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just, you know, don't you love being condescended to? Um, but yeah, while they were here, because my living room is basically just a giant shrine to muse. Um, once again, one day I will take you on a tour of my living room because it's kind of it's kind of next level, um, which I like. It's fine. I like to be next level. Uh, I don't even know how many news posters I have and like ticket stubs and stuff, but they're all up in my living room, set lists, um, confetti, but I collect things <laughs> and I put them on my walls, but yeah, I inspired them to listen to some news while they were here because of course they're like, oh, in the classic North American way, like, 
don't know if I've ever heard of Muse. I'm like, well, yeah, you've heard. I can pretty much guarantee that you've heard Uprising. And I always like to whisper, like, I'm at this because I hate that song. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I inspired them to listen to some Muse while they were here. Unfortunately, just like a few seconds of each song to be like, oh yeah, I know this song, I like it, and then move on to the next song. I don't get how people do that. Like, oh no. If I like a song, I have to listen to the whole thing. But anyway, um, yeah, I've got to listen to a little bit of Mutes while they were in my house at night in the morning, upsetting my cats and upsetting me because I had to be up at night in the morning. Um, and then once they were gone, I was like, well, um, I've already moved everything in my living room and I haven't rearranged in quite a while, so I might as well just take this opportunity to rearrange. So I did, which meant moving the TV, which was not fun because like, why do I need six, <laughs> six Nintendo consoles? Why do I need that many? Because that's how many I have and there's so many cords. Oh my God, so many cords. Uh, yeah. Anyway, move the TV, move the couch, move the chair, got a new bookshelf, read at the bookshelf situation, read at my plant situation, and I'm still working on it now, and it's been, <laughs> it's been a week, because I keep just giving up, and then I'm like, nah, I don't feel like doing this anymore, and my living room's just a catastrophe because of it, but, what? Oh right, there were two clips there. Yeah, so my living room's a catastrophe, but I'm getting there. Slowly getting there. But the problem is, I wasn't thinking, and my windows are really drafty, and now the couch and the chair are both under the window, and I don't feel like moving stuff again, because this whole escapade, oops, this whole escapade also involved moving posters, because the new bookshelf was really big. So, it's tall, so I had to move some posters so we block them. And yeah, I really don't feel like dealing with moving everything again, but now it is damn cold sitting underneath the window. So it's annoying, and it's only November. So I don't know. I think at one point I like stuffed foam rubber, I mean weather stripping into the window gaps in my bedroom and this room, which kind of helped, although they're still drafty. So I don't know if I should invest in some weather stripping and do that. See, it is really cold in my window. And I don't like to turn my heat up because gas is expensive. And I like to be kind of cold most of the time, although this is like next level cold, even with a blanket. Like if people come over to my house, I turn the heat up in advance so they don't bitch and whine the whole time they're here. Um, yeah, so that's where that is. Was there anywhere else I was going with that story? I don't know. Like, DVDs. What do you do with DVDs? I feel bad for throwing them away. And like, some of those movies you can't stream. Is there anywhere you can stream Mallrats? Because I can't get rid of Mallrats if you can't stream it. It's a classic, man. <laughs> One of the best movies ever. <laughs> and plus, I bought them. I don't want to get rid of them. I've still got a DVD player. Uh, and like my Lord of the Rings box sets, like I don't want to get rid of those. There's a bunch that I am planning on getting rid of, but like I hate throwing things away. I really do. <clears throat> I've got this like huge bag of garbage from the whole process that I'm just collecting and I don't... <laughs> I don't like producing that much garbage. It's bad for the planet, man. Um, like, I just use grocery bags for garbage. Not that you get gro grocery bags at the grocery store anymore, but it takes a long time to go through your hoard of grocery bags that you had from back when grocery bags were a thing, the plastic ones. 
Like I've been working on it for years. Um, so like, I don't know, every two weeks normally I'll produce like one grocery bag worth of garbage. So yeah, it's quite stressful to have like a whole big bag of garbage. Because of course the new bookshelf, everything came wrapped in plastic. Like everything. Like why does everything have to be wrapped in plastic? I kind of failed with sectioning, but it's fine. Everything's fine. What am I doing? And I'm also not really going down far enough. Maybe I should do that. No, I'll just do the rest of the roots first. <coughs> this is such a gross color. Ugh. It's yuck. It's so close to blonde. Actually, I'm going to do time check. Okay, it was at 16 minutes, so just restarted. Okay. Right, I need to do a better job. This is gonna be so bright, man. Go from super dark to super bright. Would have been nice if that color had actually faded and I could have managed the fading process, but it was not going anywhere. I know, I put black over it and then I put dark blue over it, but it was still not fading regardless. Normally you're gonna get some fading, like if I've washed it six times and it's the same color, it's not gonna fade. At least not fast enough to suit me. Who knows how dark this color is actually even going to be. Hopefully this color will actually take on my hair. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now, so that's your warning. There will be silence as I listen to the story of one sky. Okay, I have to stop and listen to the rest of this song, or at least this part of this song, so I'll be back. Okay, I can focus again. So, while I was busy not doing my hair, I diluted this a little bit more. 
We're going to do a slightly more diluted section, which will hopefully blend it down to where the kind of blue-green starts. I can't really tell where that starts. I think it starts in a different spot pretty much everywhere. I'm going to listen to Adam Strong, so I'm done talking again. I'm talking again. Um, I'm gonna dilute this last little bit with more conditioner. And just get the ends. We'll say that much conditioner. Oh, I'm making a mess, making a mess. Turns out I need to buy more conditioner. Well, I've got plenty of conditioner, but not conditioner I'm willing to sacrifice for diluting hair dye. It's like sky blue. Hopefully I'll get coverage with this. There's not really any guarantees, are there? <coughs> okay. There's no guarantees in life. That's the way it is. I'm gonna start. here. 
I had worried that I was getting too light and I think I'm getting too light for it to really cover. I guess I'll find out. It looks really dark in my mirror. The much less dark here. Whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. Well, I'm just going to hope this works out for me. Hmm. It's not really looking promising. That's really not looking promising. I don't know, I don't think this is going to be too light. Like, I'm going to look like a powder puff girl. Maybe the lightest blue I've ever had all over. Anyway. Okay, well, I've still got a little bit left. I don't know. Um, I've lost all faith now that I've devoted this much time to it. So just scrape it off and hang out here. Okay. I'm gonna leave this in for some amount of time and come back tomorrow. The huge. I don't know. I just want it to like kind of blend color wise without being too dark because I still haven't given up on my gray dreams. Okay. Greetings. So in a completely predictable outcome, um, coverage isn't great and the color is patchy. So yeah, it especially didn't take well like here and here. Because that's kind of where I had given up on life. Um, my hair's a little bit wild because I yeah, don't dye your hair at like one in the morning and then go to sleep with a wet. <laughs> so yeah, this didn't turn out super well along here either. And don't dye your hair at one in the morning. So I'm going to fix it. This is, this whole hair adventure is not really working out super well for me in the last couple days, but here we are. It's fine. What am I doing? Also, I think that some of the places that really didn't take were still a little bit damp. So. Yes, I'm going to section, 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 just the center part might be, or I can just go with my regular part, <laughs> not that that's my regular part, it doesn't matter, nothing matters. Speaking of nothing else mattering, I got a ticket for Metallica today. They're doing two-day concerts, not this upcoming summer, but next summer. Which is a long ass time to wait, man, but and it's in a stadium and stadiums are my favorite, but Metallica always puts on a good show, so it's worth going, especially since I don't have enough concerts in my life. 
call it an early birthday present. My birthday is soon. I've gotten myself like 10 early birthday presents because self-control. <laughs> As we all know, self-control is my strong suit. Yay, Metallica. I haven't seen them since 2016, maybe? I don't remember when I went. I went with my brother and I asked if he wanted to go this time and he's like, no, I've seen them once. And I was like, what? Like, seeing a band once is enough? Like, <laughs> what? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand this concept. Because I've seen them, I don't know. I'm not sure how many times they're not a band where I keep count. Maybe five? Probably less than five. Maybe three? Four? I don't know. <laughs> I've seen them amount of times that's five or under, I think. My plan this time is, oh, I only got one glove on. I plan this time is to drag the darker color down a little bit further without unnecessarily complicating my life like I did yesterday and doing it twice. I don't really know. <laughs> of course I ran out of Enchanted Forest, at least out of the bottle that I was using. Like my hair's freaking curly hair, man. It's annoying. Anyway, um... I ran out of the bottle I was using and I didn't really want to open a new one. So this is an unholy combination of a tiny bit of Enchanted Forest, a tiny bit of Arrow Arrow Blue, and a tiny bit of um, Pravana Green. So that is where we're at. I have no idea how this is going to work out because the color I ended up with is much greener than it looked yesterday, which is fine. Um, yeah, it's just unpredictable results when you're diluting it with not much conditioner. So I diluted it with a lot of conditioner. Just drop some. My nose is itchy. What am I gonna do? Another thing I didn't do yesterday is make sure that it was properly saturated. Which you will see when we get to the couple spots that I completely did not cover. Okay, this is also kind of watery because it is. <laughs> it just is. Well, because I added water to my conditioner so I could get the last bit out. I can't hear my nose. Eh. I don't know. I just don't know. So kind of being lazy about my sections today, in case you didn't notice. Possibly because I got over <laughs> doing my hair this week. A lot of hair adventures this week. Like it's Wednesday and when I did the color removal on like Sunday. I think it was Sunday. Was it Sunday? Yeah, it was Sunday. Uh, Color removal Sunday, bleaching Tuesday, bleaching again Tuesday, dyeing it Tuesday. Yesterday was a long ass day. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm kind of tired of doing this. My arms are sore. I'm gonna work out. Is this part of this section? What the hell, how did I completely miss all of this? Wow.
The good thing about not having like a specific goal in mind is that however it turns out, it's however it turns out. <coughs> <coughs> and I will either like it or not like it. I didn't like it, so you know. God, my nose is so itchy. Now, since what I didn't, since what I did yesterday, words, since what I did yesterday didn't work, the most logical thing to do 
is the exact same thing as I did yesterday, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Um, and dilute it with a little bit more conditioner and put it through the ends. This time it's going to work. I know it. I know it. I have faith. I think I'm going with a darker one color this time though. Uh, maybe not because maybe I put too much conditioner at the end. dark enough. It's fine, it's fine. And I definitely, well, it's not going to take a lot to cover it. Let's just start with the two worst spots, which were here and here. Maybe I will have enough because I don't have very much I think it looks more promising than it did yesterday. I don't know. I didn't get to sleep until like 4 and I had to be awake at 11, which meant I was awake at, uh, I don't know, 9 and didn't get any more sleep. No, I didn't even sleep until 9. I don't know. It's all fog. I guess I haven't really... Okay, but... Yeah, it looks better than yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Okay, the huge, cover it, leave it on for some amount of time, and return. Hopefully the second time's a charm. Okay, I'm back. I was just, I've been editing videos and I'm so tired. Editing the bleach one, oh my god. It was, it was a struggle because I could see as I was watching the video everything I was doing wrong. Anyway, um, this is how curly my hair is, in case you were wondering. I think that I successfully got everything covered. The ends in these spots are still kind of weird, but whatever, I don't care. It blends in well enough. Yeah, that's where we're at. Now I'm gonna brush my hair because it looks like a mess and it's gonna go all frizzy and fun, fun. I'm tired. <laughs> it took a really long time to edit that bleach video. A really long time. Yeah. So this is what I've got. It's even enough. I think I've still got this weird patch here that I need to deal with, but it's a problem for later. <laughs> 